Hi, in this video I want to show you some basics of Google Plus privacy. I know when a lot of people join Google Plus, they start getting notifications that so and so, so and so has added them on, on Google Plus to their circles. What does that mean? Uh, what are they able to see? And especially because I have a private uh, client group on Google Plus, some of my clients are using Google Plus just to be in that private community and they're concerned whether or not other uh, friends and colleagues and classmates or whatever are able to see uh, their Google Plus postings. And the answer, thankfully, is if you are in a private community, only you and the other private com community members can see what you post to the private community. So what trips a lot of people up is when they go to Google Plus and they go to the home page of Google Plus, they're logged in, and let me just click on home here, and they're, in, they're on the home page of Google Plus, they think, oh my gosh, you know, the, I can see something here from the White House on my home page. Does that mean that everyone who comes to my Google Plus profile can see that somehow I'm following uh, the White House on Google Plus? Well, it depends. Uh, and let me show you how to change that, okay? The most important thing I want to show you before I go on, actually, is that when you want to see who can see what you are able to see, Move your mouse over to the left side in this area. Right now it says home. So I'm move it here and then click on profile. And then now this place is going to say profile. This is the most important area for privacy. View profile as yourself or view profile as the public or view profile as someone else. So, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm, okay, so as yourself, you can always see the most of your profile, of course because you have the, the greatest access to your own privacy settings. You can click on this and, for example, I don't choose to show my photos, I don't choose to show my reviews to the public. So I click on this, I view my profile as public, and suddenly notice that photos tab is gone and the reviews tab is gone. I will show you how to do that. Um, but as, you, as I scroll down here, I'm looking at what the public, anybody in the whole world, when they come to my profile, this is what they can see. They can see what I posted to a public group called Thinkers. They can see what I posted uh, just to on publicly on my Google Plus profile. Okay, so let me go to um, let's go to the uh, first. Let's let's go back to your root profiles yourself, so I can show you how to edit some of the key privacy areas. So the key privacy area here in the About section, click on this, okay, scroll down, and this is a key privacy area. Uh, do you want to show people, the public, whom you are following on Google Plus and who is following you? Okay, so under People, click Edit. And uh, I have chosen not to show to the world whom I'm following on Google+, Plus, what brands, what organizations. Now you know, as you saw earlier, that I'm following the, the, the organization, the White House. But you can follow whomever you want, and you can, you can choose not to show that. So I uncheck this one, show people who are in your circles, people I'm, I'm following, basically. And this one, show people who have added you to circles. You can also choose to uncheck that if you want. If you don't want to show the world who has added you on Google+, you can uncheck that and then click Save. I just I like to keep that checked. So um, anyway, uh, uh, I like when people, I guess, follow me or add me to circles on Google+, so I want to show the world who, who's added me, sort of as a little reward for the people who have added me to their circles, whatever. So anyway, so that's how you do it. Be sure to click Edit here. And then further down, you can choose to share your tagline, your introduction, etc., etc., your bragging rights, which I haven't done, but you can click Edit here and notice that for each, okay, for tagline is public. So if you don't want something, if you, if you don't want a public tagline, don't write anything here. Introduction can be public or it can be just uh, only you can see it or only your circles, people you have added, you have follow, you are following, and Google Plus can see it. Or you can be custom and be really, really specific which people can see this or which of your circles can see this and that brings us to a whole other topic about circles that we don't have time to get into on this video which I will link to another video about circles but I choose to show that uh, I, I choose to show my introduction to the public I'm just gonna select public here but do you see how granularly you can select each section further down bragging rights same thing you know I don't have any bragging rights I'm just gonna show say only me so only I can see this section actually I don't I don't think there I don't think it shows up if it's if it's empty but anyway we'll click save here okay 
So same thing with work. Under work, you can click edit to, to, to tell uh, Google Plus who can see what sections of your work profile you see. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm going to let you look at this. Uh, let, let's go on now to uh, the settings area. So I'm going to hover over here, hover over here, click on settings, and let's take a look at this briefly here. Who can interact with you and your posts? Who can send you notifications? I put your circles. I'm just going to scroll down. Really, most of these to me, I don't think are really that important, honestly. If you have specific questions, you can let me know. But if you have specific questions, first, be sure to click Learn More for the next, for each of the things you want to learn more about. And if you still don't understand, you can comment under this video, and I'd love to uh, try to help you out if I can. Um, anyway, I'm just going to scroll through. You can, you can kind of pause the video and see how I do it. And then if you have clicked on Learn More and can't figure it out on your own, obviously you go to your own Google Plus, go to Settings, and then you can then click on Learn More on these things. And then just let me know if you have any questions on these things. Who can comment on your public post? Obviously, if I have written a public posting, which I, I guess I should show you what I mean by a public posting. Whenever you are on Google Plus, okay, I'm just going to go to my profile. Whenever you're on Google Plus and you are sharing what's new, okay, I have selected by default that everything I share on Google Plus is public, unless it's to a private community on Google Plus, like my client's community, then that's private, just to that community. But I selected public by default. You can, whenever you write something, you can select who can see it. Right now it's public, but I can X that out and I can I can choose just that only I can choose that only my wife can see something I'm about to write. You know, and then click share. You see what I mean? It gets really granular who you want to be able to show it. Or I can choose to see that I want to show it just to my current clients. Okay? I only want to show my current clients what I'm writing right now on Google Plus. And I also want to send an email to all of them, all of my current clients, and then click share. You see what I mean? So, so you know, anyway, I'm, that's, that's that. I think I've made my, myself clear here. Let's go back to settings. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly scroll down and you can pause the video and see, okay, who can hang out with you? Let me show this setting here, customize. I choose to, I choose um, hang out with you only for my, only for a few circles. The rest I click as, I choose a send uh, request. Um, to hang out just means that they can click a button and try to place a call to you on Google Plus or start chatting with you on Google Plus, okay? So, you know, uh, send requests is uh, most, of my, uh, most of my things there. And I choose not to get notified about Hangout. Actually, I think I, I would like to select that. Since I want to know when people try to request to, I don't know why that was unchecked. Okay, I'm going to click Save. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to scroll past my email, my private email addresses. Uh, I don't have a phone number here. If I added a phone number, I would put don't notify me, but I, Google Plus doesn't have a phone number here. And uh, let's see here. Okay, posts. I only select a few to be notified via email. Okay. Again, you know what I encourage you to do. So when it comes to receive notifications, I really encourage you to try experiment with this. See which ones you check over email, and as you start getting emails from Google Plus, try to figure out well, what is this email about, and come back to settings and uncheck certain things on email if you want to receive less email from Google+. So anyway, I'm just going to expand these. This video is getting really long already, so I'm just going to expand these to show you which ones I've checked and which ones you might want to as well. And you can always pause the video uh, to take notes on this stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, um, yeah, this doesn't happen very often. That's why I keep this checked as well. Okay. All right. Now, this is a sort of manage apps and activities. Click on that, and I'll, I'll, I guess I'll show you real quick here. These are apps that you've added on Google Plus to make your make, allow you to be able to log into another website, etc. You can always click Edit next to any of these and select who can see your activity on that website uh, with regards to your Google Plus activity. All right. Okay, let's go back to settings and let's finish up here. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. What what else haven't I shown you? 
your circles. Okay, your circles. I'm gonna click on customize. When I write a post to what's called your circles, my circles, uh, what do I want to include in in what's called my circles? And I basically have um, select everything except there's a circle called courtesy where I've added a bunch of people in courtesy. I, I just I don't want to I don't want to notify them of anything though. So click uh, when I when I send to your circles, but I do want to notify the rest of the folks here. Okay, all right, accessibility. All right, this is helpful. I click. I make this box check so that Google Plus looks simpler for me. It doesn't. It's, all, it's not cluttered with multiple columns, so this is helpful. And I want to thank. Um, I think it was Becky Castro who showed that to me. All right. Um, photos and videos. Anyway, anyway, I'm just gonna scroll down. I don't want to talk about every single one unless you, you guys have questions about any particular one. Really, I really don't think most of these are are that important. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Now, this is one that might be important, particularly if you post in a lot of communities, and this is about public communities, by the way. Not this is actually not just public communities. This also regarding private communities. So, for example, if you and I are in a private community, okay, if you and I are in a private community together, and you post to that private community, do you want me to be able to see that post? when I go to your profile on Google+, given that you and I are both in that private community, your friend John will not be able to see that post because it's in a private community that he's not part of. But this also applies to public Google+, communities. For example, earlier, I'm going to go to my profile uh, so that you can see. Earlier, I showed you that when I'm on my profile and, I, and I'm trying out viewing my profile as public, okay, notice that um, the public can see that I posted to a group called Thinkers because Thinkers is a public community on Google Plus and I have made sure my settings is that people can see the postings I post to my Google Plus communities. Now the the reason why you may want to uncheck this is when you are posting the same thing to multiple public communities on Google Plus then when you might want to uncheck this so that when people come to your profile they don't see that you're posting the exact same thing to multiple communities for whatever reason you, you, you're you doing that okay but I don't do that so that's why I keep this checked alright uh, okay this is another one you may want to check or not check who do you want to be able to just go to your profile and click and send you a private message I don't mind having this available to the public I find that almost nobody sends me private messages on Google Plus randomly really um, so I don't mind that, to, and if <laughs> I'm not inviting everyone to start sending me private messages on Google Plus, but uh, I find that it's not a it's not an issue. So you just you might want to check that, and you can always uncheck that later. Your email address is not revealed. Um, okay, actually, the, the the place where you want to check whether your email address is revealed is um, okay. Let me go back to view as myself. The place you want to check is in the about section. Um, there's a contact. There's a there's a there's a um, basic okay basic. There's a contact. I'm not going to reveal this. There's a contact information section, and at the bottom of the contact information section, there's an edit, and you can select who can see what aspects of your contact information. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go back to. Um, okay. Have others people. Okay. This is another checkbox that you may be concerned about. You may want to uncheck it so that people can't find you on Google Plus. In when they're searching, um, and click learn more to learn more. How many times has been okay? All right, all right. So I guess that's it. Be very careful about you want to you don't want to delete your entire Google Plus profile, so don't click that. So I hope that that's helpful. I know that when it comes to privacy settings on social media, it can get so complicated. Uh, this video could easily have been an hour. So I hope that just in these 15 minutes, I have given you enough. Really, the most important thing for you to know that don't worry about sh what shows up in the home area. This is only what you see, okay? Um, because, for example, Ellen Britt, I, I follow her, and so I see her stuff in my Google+. Plus. You don't follow her, so you're not going to see her stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and the, the other most important thing to know is when you go to profile, to know what people are seeing, you can look at Google profile as yourself or look at, view it as if the public are viewing and see what they see or can enter a specific name so for example if I want to enter my my brother 
Sam, okay, I, I wonder what my brother sees on my Google Plus profile when, they, when he shows up on it, when he comes here and visits me, then I'll be able to see what he sees. Does that make sense? So anyway, I hope this help is helpful. Let me know in the comments section below what you found most helpful and uh, once you have any questions based on doing your own little uh, settings change and settings research, uh, let me know if you have specific questions after that. All right, take care.